what's up? about you. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that! 
Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't know what to do it. Oh, come on, mate. It's perfectly safe. We're miles away, so all we get is a little jiggle now and again. Just make sure to hold the railing when going downstairs and you'll be fine. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas, as that keeps them happy enough. The who's a what's it? Sorry, mate. I've got no idea what you're on about. Sounds made up, if you ask me. But then again, maybe the other miners have been inventing some jargon I'm not familiar with. Best to ask around. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job, off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. I'm getting there. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits and uh, other liabilities. So I don't make the rules. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. to lend out. See you around.
not having any trouble mining the ore, are you? Only employees of Deimos Staryard's mining division are authorized to mine resources in and around Sidonia. It is your civic duty to report any unauthorized mining to Sidonia security. about helping me. That ore you mined is really going to bolster our numbers. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yards office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. A reminder that particle detonations can occur beyond the city limits between the hours of 0600 and 1800 local time. bad happens today. 
No. Oh, I mean, was that too frank? I, I don't know. I mean, the job pays well, but it's dangerous and hard work. I hurt myself a lot, too. I'm definitely looking forward to my contract being up so I can leave. But I don't really know what I'll do after. Man, this is all so stressful. Well, I... I, I guess I am. The thing is, uh, I get injured on the job a lot. Nothing too serious. I've lost a few fingers and toes and stuff. And will I have to go see Dr. Flynn a lot for treatment? I'm pretty sure she's annoyed and sick of seeing me. I don't blame her. I've been thinking about writing her a letter of apology, but I have no idea where to even start. I don't want to come across as weird or annoying. Oh, yeah. Goodbye.
finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists used Deimos starships to venture into space. When the UC defended itself from the Crimson Fleet, House Varun, and the Free Star Collective, it was Deimos's state-of-the-art technology that was pursued. The United Colonies and Deimos Star Yard, a historic partnership bringing an even brighter future. I uh, wish Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. Deimos ships are responsible for countless victories. There are tr no other ship can hold a candle to a Deimos. It's not even close. Welcome to Deimos. This is the heart of the UC. Honored to step foot in here.
What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. When you get serious about your spacecraft, come back to Deimos. That feeling of sitting in the cockpit of a long sword, there's nothing like it. These are hallowed hordes. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Believe me. If you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's gonna help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. 
She gets talkative during happy hour, and loud. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Don't worry, we're gonna make sure you get that job. You have a good one, alright? is a good place to connect with others, or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. Ever been to Aquila? Those security uniforms are way cooler than anything we've got. The Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home.
gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. <laughs>